you want to make a modded Hytale server. By the end of this video, you will have one. But I want to mention on the front end, Hytale servers are a bit different when it comes to mods than other game servers you may have hosted in the past. Hytale servers from Hytale themselves, vanilla Hytale servers, support mods out of the box. That means you don't have to deal with third-party mod loaders or anything like that. On top of that, all Hytale mods are handled on the server itself. You and your friends have to install anything in your game to use the mods on the server. Everything is done on the server itself. Absolutely incredible. One of the biggest things that makes Hytale modded servers so amazing. Now, I do want to mention there are some limitations to Hytale servers. The first, they're extraordinarily resource intensive and even more so with mods. If you don't have at least six gigabytes to dedicate to your Hytale server, go ahead and find another way to play with your friends because this is not going to work. Hytale servers are super resource intensive. I'm talking two people on six gigs with mods will cause lag and cause some crashing because RAM runs out. On top of that, you'll have to authenticate your server. Not a big deal. We're going to cover it all in this video, but it is a bit of a hassle. And every time you restart your server, you have to re-authenticate the server. So keep that in mind. Again, that's covered in the video, but it is one of the more annoyances of hosting a Hytale server yourself. Lastly, the server we're making in this video is going to be hosted on your own network, meaning it uses your IP address. And anyone who joins it can not only DDoS you, which basically means hit your internet offline, they can also figure out where you live down to your latitude and longitude coordinates. So it's super important to keep this private it and only for people you trust. But what if you don't have to worry about any of those issues? What if you want servers that are high quality and meant to run Hytale? What if you don't want to have to worry about authentication and have authentication automatically taken care of for you? If you don't have to worry about security and people joining the server and you can make your server private or public, it's up to you. Well, that's where our hosting provider, Simple Game Hosting, comes in. You can check it out at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple to start a modded Hytale server for you and your friends where authentication happens automatically. Automatically. You get your server and it is instantly authenticated and it refreshes automatically as well if your server's restarted. On top of that, you can easily add mods to the server by just adding them directly onto the server panel and your mods will work in the server right away as soon as the server is restarted. Plus, let's say you do run into any issues. Well, there's expert live chat support there that if you do add a mod, something breaks, they are there to troubleshoot and help fix the problem and get your server back online how you want it. So check out Simple Game Host to get the first link in the description down below to start a modded server the simple way and start playing with your friends in minutes. Now, with that being said, what if you do want to host a server yourself? We're going to do it. Let's go. First things first, we want to get the Hytale server file. Now, this is linked in the description down below. It's our complete guide to make a Hytale server. And when you click on this Hytale download here, it's going to download the Hytale server file installer. When you click save, it's going to download it right away. And if you want to check that this link is safe, you can just right click, copy link address, and you'll see that this takes you to Hytale.com to download this file. There's currently no nice and easy way to get to this on Hytale's website. So this this right here makes it super easy without having to like scroll down and look in very specific places in documentation. Now with that being said, we can go ahead and minimize our browser and go to our downloads folder where we will have that file we downloaded, that hightaildownloader.zip. Go ahead and right click on it and extract all and then go ahead and click extract. We'll have this Hytale downloader file and we can open that and we have this Hytale downloader windows. Double click to open that program and this is where the authentication starts but not where it finishes. We're going to have to do this a few times in the video. Go ahead and copy and paste this link here to your browser. It's going to ask you to log into Hytale and then once you do that you will then be able to authenticate the server and log in. So as you can see authorize this device. I'm already logged in. You may have to log in a few times. You may have to enter your password multiple times. And that's perfectly normal if that happens. But I'm already logged into Hytale, so it didn't prompt me to do that. You could see it went through the login section there automatically. That's because I was already logged in. And boom, device authorized. Now, if we minimize this, we'll see. It is now downloading our server files right like so. It'll do this automatically. Once it's finished, it will close. And this is actually the last time you'll use this file because now we have this other zip file. It's got a date in it here, and that's the date this Hytale server build was made, right? The Hytale release was made, not today's date, so no worries there. And then drag and drop this to your desktop. What you then want to do is go ahead and right click on this file and extract it. This is where all of your Hytale server files are eventually going to live. Now there's a folder on your desktop that can be renamed to Hytale modded server. Then we can delete the zip file and open up our Hytale modded server folder. Now this is where we can actually get things going and get our server live. So go ahead and right click and create a new text to document. Then open up this new text document in Notepad. When you open the document, you want to go to the description of the video because in the description, we have a run.bat file string. 
What is a string? It's a string of text, right? It's text for a run.bat file. This is that text. You want to copy and paste it. And what this does is say, hey, Java, which this is a Java server, go ahead and launch the hightailserver.jar and look for the assets as well. That's all this is doing. And it's also identifying how much RAM you want the server to have. By default, we have this set to six gigs. If you want to up it, you can change this to eight by changing it to around 8,000 M or 8,000 megabytes, eight gigabytes. Now go ahead and save this, but don't just click file save. What you want to do is click file and save as. Rename the file to run.bat and change the save type as here to all files. Then go ahead and click save. Now you'll have this run.bat file and when you double click on it, your Hytale server is going to start. But remember that authentication I was talking about earlier because we're going to need to do it again. And again, anytime you add mods and restart your server, you're going to need to redo this. And that's where a hosting provider like Symbol Game Hosting is so great. You don't have to worry about that. But we can actually follow what it says here, which is off login. And then actually what we want to do is type device after. So off login device, hit enter. And we're going to get this information. Again, this is the same information we had earlier, things to copy and paste into our browser. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really fast. And once that's been copied again, we just paste that into the browser here. And it's again going to re-authenticate. So click approve, go ahead, processes. And then after it processes, it approves it. You might need to log in, all of that stuff. Double password verification is normal device authorized. So now we come back over here to Hytale, we'll see that that is now authorized and we can check the auth status with the auth status command and it will go ahead and show that we're authenticated. Awesome. But you want to add mods to this server and that's understandable. So how do you do that? Well, like I said, this server, it supports it right out the box. And the first time it launched, it created a mods folder. This is where your mods are going to go. So let's go ahead and go get some mods. CurseForge is actually partnered with Hytale to support mods right out the gate. And there's already over 250 and the game came out yesterday. So what we want to do is download some here. Homes Plus seems cool and an easy way to kind of test a mod. So we'll go ahead and download this one. We'll also go ahead and grab one that I've used in the past. It's cool to see Core Protect is here as well. But that is going to be a simple shrubs mod because I know it will work. So let me go ahead and grab that shimmery shrubs here. And we're going to go ahead and download both of these mods. Any of these mods will work out of the gate. And again, only on the server. Your friends don't have to do anything but join once these are installed. One of the coolest things about Hytale mods that I think everyone is excited for. Now with these downloaded, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And we want to drag and drop or copy and paste these mods from here. So copy these and then we want to go over here and paste them in the mods folder right like so. Now sometimes there'll be a jar file, sometimes there'll be a zip file and guess what? They both work. Don't worry about touching them, don't worry about changing anything. These are just going to work, I promise. It could be a jar, it could be a zip, that's normal and they both go in the mods folder. Now with this being said, what do we do? What do we do from here? Well in that case we need to restart our server. So we want to come over here, we want to stop the server, it's going to close out, press any key to continue and then we want to restart it by double clicking that run.bat file and it's now going to restart start and guess what we got to re-authenticate it. I'm not going to make you watch me re-authenticate it but that command to re-authenticate is off login and device. Hit enter. It's going to now go through the authentication process which I'll do. All right, we can see our authentication status here. We're good to go. We are now auth and we can join this. Now at this point, you're the only person that can join your modded server. So we're going to go ahead and open Hytale and I'm going to do that. I'll show how you can do that as well. If you want your friends to join, it's going to be a bit different. So keep that in mind whenever you're starting your server here. So what we want to do is go up here to servers and then we will go ahead and add a server and we're going to do the address local host. All one word, exactly like that. You can name this anything. I'm just going to name it local connection because this is a local connection only I can use. Go ahead and click add server there and then double click on that local connection and we will join right on in. Now, how do your friends join? Well, in order for your friends to join, you're going to need to port forward. And there's guides on exactly how to port forward for a Hytale server in the description of this video. It goes over everything you need to know in depth. And once that video is done, your friends will be on your server. Uh, actually, we're going to be using this server we just made to make that guide. Now, we probably want to test our mods first, though. So we should have a home plugin. So I'm guessing home help is going to be a thing. Use homes to see your homes. And there we go. We have a GUI. We could set a spawn home here. So let's go ahead and do that. Spawn, create. There we go. And we can TP to that by clicking on it. And again, access that with slash homes. And then we also have that shrubs mod. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and op ourselves. So we will come over here and op 
add me. And then once we've done that, we'll be able to go into game mode creative, and then we will be able to find a shimmery shrub because, well, that is what we're looking for here. So here we go. We have our shimmery shrubs that we can add in. And again, I didn't do anything client side for this. It just worked out the gate. If you got any questions, let us know in the comments, but you now know how to get a Hightail modded server live. And again, to get your friends online, you will need to port forward. And we have an in-depth guide in the description on how to do that, how to get your friends on your server. So go check that out to get your friends on your server. We will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and I'm out. Peace.